So, one thing I'm kind of bothered about this version of Battleship. Hi, everyone. Hey, everyone. Here, I'm about to teach you how to play Battleship, the classic naval combat game. A very fun, albeit a simple kind of game that I bet most of you have already played growing up. But in case you have never played this game before, then allow me to be your guide. So I've already went ahead and did the assembly, as shown right here, such as I've already put the stickers on the laptop shaped uh, game boards or whatever you want to call them. Is there a name for this by the way? Battle cases. Okay, so they're called battle cases now that I know. So like I said, I've already went ahead and put this all together. The stickers are on there already and yada yada. So I'm only going to use one of these two for the demonstration. So I'm going to set one of these over here. I think I open it on this side. Yep, I do. So, this is what it looks like, and I'll try to get a little bit closer. Yep, that's good. So, one thing I'm kind of bothered about this version of Battleship is that there's way too many pegs. According to the instructions, there are 168 white pegs and 84 red pegs. I think there's like 42 here and 84 here for red and white respectively, and then the other half are in the other battle case. But I think a more appropriate number would be maybe like 25 red and maybe, I'm going to say, 60 white. Because I do get it. There are 100 spaces on the grid. You have 5 ships that have a total of 17 holes combined. So when you take 100, subtract 17, you have 83 empty holes. I just don't see it as any game in the future that's going to have a grid full of pegs, like every single hole. So that's my gripe about the thing, there's just way too many pegs. And as you can see, it's just barely going overboard over here. But in any case, this is the ocean grid right here, and this is what you see up here as the target grid. I'm not going to show it to you and move it because if I did, everything will start falling out. So what you do is that your opponent's going to take their battle case and they're going to flip it, but with your battle case facing this way, your opponent is going to have his facing like this way. Like, I'm not going to demonstrate it because I'm not going to pull out anything, but as if that you can't look at your opponent's uh, grid, likewise your opponent cannot see your grid, so you're facing each other, if you get what I'm saying. So what you do is, you take your five ships, you spread them across the board like this to any spots that you want. Make sure that they fit in the holes. Do not place your ships like outside the grid like this. And you cannot place them diagonally as well. So I don't remember all the names of the ships. They are shown right here somewhere on the instructions. Let's go over those right now. You have the carrier, which is five holes long. Battleship with four holes, destroyer with three holes, submarine with three holes, and patrol bolt, bolt, patrol boat with two holes. I'm dyslexic today. So, once you and your opponent have placed your ships, decide who goes first, and then you, you and your opponent take turns um, marking a spot to see if you can hit your opponent's ships. The goal of the game is that you have to sink all five of your opponent's ships before your opponent does the same to you. So if on your opponent's turn, if they call a shot by the letter and number on the grid, for example, let's say F7. If you look here, F and 7, you connect them in an empty spot. What you do is you place a white peg right here and say miss. Your opponent's gonna take a white peg then and put it up on their target grid where F7 is and put it up there. Now let's say if when your opponent's turn comes around again and they say C2, C and 2, hey, well you know, there's a ship occupying that space. What you do is you take a red space, place it right here, and you say hit. Now what the instruction says here kind of threw me off a little bit. According to the example, when you make a hit, or if your opponent or if you declare a hit, whoever's turn it is, when you say hit, you also have to say what the ship is. When I played this growing up, I never did that. I never said what the ship was. 
and it even sounds, says it right here in the Salvo variant game, four more challenges in Salvo game, don't announce which ships are hit. So contrary to what the actual instructions say about the original game, I think it's best that you don't call off the boats of what is hit. You keep it a secret. That way you keep your opponent thinking on what they need to, need to do next and keep shooting around until the ship is sunk. Because if I say right now this is what? The battleship? If I said hit, battleship, he knows it's four pegs long, he's gonna try, you know, it makes it easier for him to sink the, to sink the battleship knowing what it is. But if you keep it a secret, he might think it could be a little like patrol boat, but it's not. So from my perspective, the true way to play battleship from my from like I said, my perspective is that you don't call off the ships when they're hit. That is all. So like I said, you just keep taking turns over and over, placing white and red pegs as such, and whoever can sink their all their opponent's ships first before the opponent does the same wins the game. Since I've already mentioned about the Salvo variant game shown in the instructions, I might as well teach you how to play that as well. So, in each turn, you get as many shots on your opponent equal to the number of ships that are still in your ocean grid. So in this case, when you start the game, you and your opponent each have 5 shots per turn until one of, you, uh, one of your ships sinks. So if I sink my opponent's ship first, so they only have 4 left, then they only have four shots per turn. So if one player has more ships left than their opponent, then it gets really dangerous for the opponent because they're having less shots. So yep, that's pretty much how Salvo works. Don't ever, and I mean ever, put all your boats in one spot, as in putting all your eggs in one basket. It is not good at all, and I'll show you why. Here's a good example get a little bit closer. So let's say you decide to put all your ships just like this. And your opponent fires at E6, which is right here. Boom. Then they go to D6. Uh-oh, it's a miss. So they go in the opposite direction. Then they go to F6, G6. They get to H6 and they're like, huh, I'm, I think I'm about to hit it or destroy or sink a carrier. So then they go to I6 and nothing still happens in their carrier. So they decide to go down to J6 and they miss. As soon as they miss right here, and have a line like this, your opponent's going to have a big grin on their face, realizing that you just set, set your ships just like this. So all they got to do now is just shoot all their missiles in like a square shape like this, hitting until they're all sunk. Well, once they figure out what you did, you have a limited amount of time to try to sink all of their ships, which chances are, it's not going to happen. So do not do that! at all cost. So I wish you all the best of luck on becoming the best battleship player. And in case that you want to try to pick this up, most stores will have them. You name it. Walmart, Target, pretty much any store that carries board games, battleship is pretty common to find. You should have no problem finding it. Okay, that's gonna do it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more. And don't forget to check out my gaming channel, Marcus B Gaming for video game and let's play content. I'll see you later, but until then, like always, take care.